is happening? What is happening? England for Sweden zilch. Just another absolute trouncing. Well done, England. This is uh, this is becoming scary. The the squad that they have. How are you? My name's Shaban. Yeah, you can tell the accent. I'm a proud Scotswoman, but fair play, Lionesses. Fair play. If anything, I thought going into this game, this could be easily a win for England, but I wasn't expecting it quite to go that way, especially after the first half. We'll dissect it in just a second. But firstly, I'm getting very, very close to reaching 1,000 subs. 1,000 subscribers is the promised land of YouTube, yeah? So I really need you to just subscribe, please. That's all I ask. Uh, as we inch it towards the final of the Women's Euros, I've absolutely loved it. I hope you've enjoyed it. Maybe you've not been watching it. Maybe you've just been kind of slowly dabbling in and out. Uh, either way, it's lovely to have you here. Uh, it's lovely to have you as part of this. I've just been doing um, a couple of podcasts and YouTube uh, bits as, as well. They're just at, at full time at... Ah, uh, it, it's, that's just, that's bonkers. The What's bonkers is Alessio Russo. Wow. Didn't I tell you? Have I not been telling you? Have you been here since video one? I have been talking about Alessio Russo and her confidence in front of goal. The fact that she's just playing for fun and what she's doing when she's coming on. That super sub term. Su superb. Absolutely superb. That goal wow who does that if you missed it she had her chance in front of goal the ball came in she had her chance in front of goal she put it straight into the keeper she really should have scored that first goal uh she chased it down brought it back back heeled it between the keeper's legs past the defender and through the keeper's legs absolutely sensational even she couldn't believe it everyone was just like cheeky it was so cheeky and her face, I just, I've got, I just love her. I think she's absolutely brilliant. If you, if you're starting to get that interest, uh, she is a player in for Manchester United in the WSL. I'm a United fan as well, so uh, she ticks multiple boxes for me, uh, Alessio Russo, and I just, I've loved watching her in this competition. That's four goals uh, off the bench. She's got twelve caps for England and eight goals. That's got to be a new record. Fair play to her. I just. I just, I'm, I'm really enjoying watching players like that in this competition. You know, the likes of Hart and Ella Toon playing together at Manchester United and then coming in and just having the fun that they're having in front of goal. But it wouldn't be without the absolute workhorse and expert that is Beth Mead. I think we've got to just hand it to Beth Mead. That goal in the 34th minute is the reason that we can see the fun start to come out of these England performances. That's how I see it anyway. Because um, let's be fair, that first half hour, it was all Sweden. I was actually watching it going, okay, I was wrong. I thought coming into this game, player for player, England would try in Sweden. Um, but you can't focus on it like that. You know, it's, it's, it's absolutely more than that. Um, but that first half hour, I was going, okay, England have a problem in their hands. Maybe we're going to see them make some changes early doors. Um, and, and if it weren't for Beth Mead's goal, you know, and just her, her const she's constant. That's it. She's constant. She's not giving up then they wouldn't be able to do what they did tonight to go on and make it four goals to nil. I praise you, Beth Mead. You're an unbelievable player. I've never seen you play this good. I don't think she ever knows she could play this good. I don't think your teammates know you can play this good, but you are absolutely doing it and you deserve this place on this stage. And it's you're the reason. Beth Mead is the reason that, that England are making it to the final. She, she really is. She's really been that player for me. And, I, and I'm absolutely buzzing for her. Cheesy, I know. I'm, I don't know. Maybe I'm looking for like a follow or something from Beth Mead. I'm joking. She does follow me already. We're actually friends. Uh, let's not tell anyone else I said that out loud. Um, yeah, Sweden just lost it. Absolutely lost it. It's that second goal from Lucy Bronze, which came just after half time. Whatever went on at half time, perhaps that um, the, the half time whistle just took the sting out of things perhaps and and Sweden lost it slightly or they weren't prepared for what changes were going to come in the second half from Serena Wiegmann's side but Lucy Bronze uh, got the goal from the corner took it on the head and just put it in the back of the net nicely almost looked like no one saw that coming at all Sweden just really went to sleep uh, at that point from that set piece from England um Lucy Bronze I have to say 
for me, she hasn't lit up this tournament, but she is a player who's consistent. She is a complete a player who's experienced uh, in games like this, on stages like this, and it's a big goal and a big game. Uh, and fair play to her to get that. You know, it's exactly probably what she needed as well, um, progressing through this tournament. Um, and then, of course, Alessio Russo come on um, and did what she did. You know, first 20 seconds of Alessio Russo come on. Did you see that run that she made down? She crossed the ball over to Lauren Hemp. Lauren Hemp then kind of just went too high and, and, and hit the bar. But that should have been a goal. That's the impact Alessia Russa has in this game. And, you know, Ellen White, you've got to be fair to her. She's Ellen White. She's the record goal scorer. But we are seeing a rebirth here. We are seeing the the future, you know, of, of England women coming in. And that is Alessia Russo. Now, I'm not saying that Ellen White shouldn't start because it seems like now going into the final Serena Wiegmann's never going to make a change to her starting 11. That's that's totally fine. She's getting it right. We can't really question it. Had they lost tonight, then, you know, you maybe said, oh, you wouldn't have played Rachel Daly and you'd have played Alex Greenwood at the back, blah, 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 blah. And maybe played Russo up front. But what she's able to come in and do, I think, is purely because there's been so many experienced players on ahead of her who have ground it down, ground down the opposition that Alessia Russo can come on with those fresh legs and do exactly what she does um, and just bring this oh, this impact, this instant impact. Um, but yeah, poor, poor Lauren Hemp, I feel that she's absolutely due one. Um, but, you know, she's been unplayable sometimes in this competition and then they, they're really seeing her as a target, the, the opposition will be. Uh, Mary Earps, oh, sorry, I'll just do the fourth goal as well. Uh, Frank Harbe, fair player, 76 minutes, just chipped it in. Um, again, another player who's been a focal point to this tournament and for that England squad but I haven't quite seen it at our best and it's moments like that tonight she looked up for it she looked hungry she looked like she was ready but four brilliant goals from England uh, to make it 4-0 over Sweden FIFA rank number two didn't see it quite happening like that so what does this mean they're heading into the final uh, against either France or Germany um, I'm going to the game tomorrow night. It's uh, Stadium NK. Uh, I cannot wait for this. I'm going to vlog it, by the way, for the channel so you can follow it tomorrow. Um, at full time, I'm going to get that posted. I can't decide who wins this. I'm saying Germany. You know, my head's telling me it's Germany. Um, but France have so many brilliant players. We've seen them play some outstanding football as well throughout this competition. I've just not seen them be clinical enough. And that's where the Germans will get them. You know, they're defensively strong, different gravy. Uh, I just wonder, I just do not know how this one goes, but whoever plays Wembley at the final on the 31st, it is not going to be an easy game. I don't predict us seeing a Sweden-like defeat, a Norway-like defeat. I, I don't see that happening at all. I see them conceding. I, I see them conceding. Uh, the Lioness is first and then having to make those tactical changes that Serena Wiegmann can do to work their way back into the game. That's my thoughts on it right now. You might completely disagree one outstanding player that they have if they're going to be facing a lot of goals is Mary Earps, you know, but I, I was laughing coming into this competition because I've seen some outstanding facials that she pulls, you know, she's like, you know, when she's in goal and I'm like, what are your, your faces need to stop? But, you know, they do say uh, a goalkeeper uh, has, you know, an interesting way. Um, and that for me is her interesting way. But wow, you know, okay, Sweden didn't have very many chances tonight but the chances that they had there's no getting by her Mary Earp, you know, she makes some outstanding saves she will be tested in this final I'm sure of it I'm sure France will be coming at her from all angles and the Germans are ruthless cannot wait for it now fair play lionesses I don't know if you can win the competition of course you can win the competition but I don't know if it'll be as easy as that um, thank you for following. I hope you're enjoying the competition. I hope you're enjoying the channel. Please subscribe, tell your pals, tell your group chat, uh, because we're getting towards 1,000 subs. Let's get it by the final, please. Have a good night. Mwah. Bye.